them okay i hope this is recording my screen <laughs> um but yeah i will show you how to edit a picture um looking like this afterwards and this is the before basically like make the person more pop and give the person like a bit more like softer skin <laughs> you will start with the picture looking like this so now the question is how do i get it back how do I get it back? How do I get it back? Yes, we said. Okay, perfect. Let's get started. So, what I did, basically, you can see here my, with my uh, beautiful LUT descriptions <laughs> that I created some LUTs myself. Um, so, what I usually do is like I go for like a calibrated one or like DSAT Heat 2. Like the names are not really saying much, but like in this case, I went with this one here. Um, I created that myself, but like for purposes of this tutorial um i guess i will reset this and basically show you how i got there or like how i got there similarly so maybe it's not going to look exactly the same but like this is the essence of what i did to create that lot um what i did what i did is um basically i like to fade out the blacks with basically every image i do i don't know why i just like the look Okay, right about there. I took out some saturation. That's another thing, like if you just double click on the thing, like it jumps back to the original setting, which is kind of cool to know in case you mess up. Um, I think for the La, I temp it with the colors. I'm not sure if it's gonna make that much of a difference because I kind of like the blues more towards the aqua and I like a lot of blues in there. So I think this is what I've done with the LUT. Um, saturated these. Bit more towards the aqua side and i think oh, no lightroom crashed i don't know why it does that if anybody knows why lightroom crashes sometimes please let me know in the comments because that would be useful to know i'm not sure if it's because i updated my um ios thing i don't know but yeah that was not the picture <laughs> that we were looking at let's find oh that's not even the correct catalog okay bear with me Okay, so we are in the correct catalog again. Let's just look for a Z picture. Z picture must be somewhere here, somewhere. Where are you? Where are you? Eso. Okay, no, that was not the picture. This one. And yes, the settings are still there, which is good. Um, okay, so sometimes I get back to this if things are looking too bluish, but basically what I love, 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 love doing is the camera calibration um so basically what i like to do is pull this towards the aquas which is like i don't really understand the technicalities behind it but basically if i do this like the skin tone just tends to go super pink but i kind of like it a bit and with these ones basically i just like play around because if you desaturate this for some reason like the pink goes away a bit and look, I just look super sick. <laughs> like, not sick as in good, but like sick as in, you know, like I need to vomit. <laughs> um, okay, but I think I left this where it was. Um, also, what I did with the LUTs, I brought up the whites a bit more. And the highlights. And I think I took the vibrance a bit down as well. Um, what I also like to do or did in the LUT um, is I brought the yellows all the way up. Yeah, let's take the oranges a bit down. Let's fade the blacks a tiny bit more. And let's bring back the highlights a tiny bit. Let's bring this a bit more towards the blue. Yeah, I'm quite happy with this that's our base and um, as I said normally I don't spend that much time on it um, because I already have my presets like down here um, and like this looks a bit different than my other presets so I might save this as well but the important thing is to kind of make it look more edited <laughs> or like more polished is um, I use the brush up here um, let's reset this new and choom. okay yeah as you can see it's getting lighter it's because um i already upped the exposure a bit here so 
um, you have to be kind of careful with the exposure because uh, sometimes you can tell like some sometimes that happened to me I couldn't see on the computer for some reason and then I saw it on Instagram I'm like oops <laughs> um, but yeah so basically like I like to select my whole thing um, the whole self <laughs> the whole person <laughs> um, and what I also like to do to basically bring me a bit more forward than the background because everything is about contrast I've got the feeling so it's more like not contrast as in like the blacks more blacks and the whites more whites but you know like they're like also like in colors or in textures and as you can see there's like the background is a bit blurry so that brings me in the foreground already um but what i like to do is like bring up the contrast a tiny bit so basically just to like the goal is to separate me from the background to basically make me pop like not me but like in this case it's me but i also take pictures of all the other people okay let's stop mumbling um okay what the exposure up i brought this up um sometimes i like um to bring up the clarity a bit as well however in this case i'm not going to do that because my skin is not as smooth so um we're gonna get to that point later i like to make myself like a bit more saturated than the background um, I like to dehaze myself a bit as well, but just like a teeny tiny bit. Um, and if you click down here, you can basically see what is selected. So as you can see, I was not like that tidy with my selection, but I'm never really that tidy with it. Um, okay, and then you know sometimes when you bring up the dehazation. <laughs> Um, it makes me more dark so sometimes I just go in a bit more with the exposure if you can tell that you brought up the exposure too much because sometimes you're not like oops okay now I look like an angel um, sometimes like in this picture not but like if the background would be like more similar to my skin color sometimes you can kind of tell uh, where the mask is um, so in that case to be more safe you could also just bring up the highlights which doesn't you know doesn't influence it that much but let's bring it up just a tiny bit um to in order to see before after you can always click the slash button um so before after before after a another thing which i like to do is to get rid of like impurities in the skin like not too many because then it looks a bit like fake and stuff but you can just click on this one here clone stamp and then you basically just click on the imperfections and then basically it automatically generates like an area which looks similar you can also like for example there was like another spot on that thing so you can just drag it somewhere where there is no spot so you don't duplicate your spots let's get rid of these ones these ones this one it's a bit of a wrinkle and like the dark mouth corner you see folks this is a good example so <laughs> that's not the part i want for that thing so let's just select this one here and should i get rid of my beard no i think that's fine wish i had clear skin. you see like i have pimples everywhere so it's just going to transfer them um yeah if you want to move while you are in brush mode you can just press the space bar um, as you can see, I've got like loads of pimples here. Maybe next time I will just choose like a picture I have taken of another person, so it's not. <laughs> um, it's not that weird to show you how I get rid of like all these marks <laughs> on my breasts and stuff. Four after. Wait, let's switch this off. Oh, after <laughs> magic <laughs> I wish it would work like that in real life um, okay then another thing which I like to do for to make the skin more smooth or you know not so smooth skin <laughs> in this case <laughs> is to go back to the brush tool and brush on the skin brush 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 I kind of leave out the um, the eyes and the mouth Okay, now let's get the exposure back to normal again. And what I do is I take the clar clarity a bit down, as you can see. Like, you know, it makes everything more soft, like not this much, but maybe like around here. And then the sharpness also, like, 
make things it makes things blurry if you go crazy but like you know just a teeny tiny bit the other thing i like to do is bring up the clarity of the lips and the eyes which makes them like you know stand out a bit more especially with like the smoothened skin so i don't look like you know too blurry <laughs> Yeah, sometimes I like to do it on the tattoos as well if, like, you know, the colour is a bit faded and stuff, but in this case it's kind of cool. And, yeah, I, I don't know, I think this makes, like, so much of a difference. See before, after, before, after. Yeah, if I would go crazy, I would, like, maybe get rid of this bit here as well, but, you know, fuck it. Um, the before and the after. And before, after, before and after. Yeah, so basically this is how I do things do things around here <laughs> okay sorry um yeah so this is the end of the tutorial um you can check some of my work out on instagram but like i don't post that much of my work there but maybe soon um and yeah if you want you can subscribe i think i will try and do more tutorials in future because i know i haven't really been doing tutorials i also do videography so there might be some um, videography premiere pro tutorials coming up Mm, yeah so that's it thank you for sticking around if you're still here <laughs> bye <laughs>